My name is Elizabeth Rossi. I'm a JD student here at Boston University, and I'll be graduating in May 2012. I'm doing a joint degree with the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy at Tufts University because I really wanted both the practical skills that I knew I would get in law school as well as the sort of greater context and policy type um, exposure that I would get at Fletcher. And I really thought that what I wanted to do was to go into um, international human rights law. Attending law school has actually been a lot better than I had expected. I, um, you know, going into the joint degree, I really expected law school, especially the first year curriculum, to be sort of dry and boring. Um, but I was so surprised when I got here at how the professors were able to bring subjects like contracts and property law to life and make them relevant to me and to my experiences in the world. I decided to go to Phnom Penh because I wanted to work in international human rights law. One of my assignments while I was there was to write a report on juvenile justice systems um, in other countries because Cambodia at the time at least didn't have any juvenile justice system at all. Um, and in the course of doing that research I came across all of these articles on the really deplorable conditions in juvenile detention facilities, mainly in the South, in the United States. And uh, I mean, it sounds cliche, but a light bulb went off and I realized that I was in the wrong place and that what I really wanted to do was to use my legal skills as well as the, the background I was gaining in human rights at the Fletcher School to work with marginalized communities in the United States. I think what I've enjoyed most in law school have been the clinical experiences that I've had. I interned in the Asylum and Human Rights Clinic um, and represented asylum seekers both in defensive and affirmative asylum proceedings. One of the clients that I represented when I interned with the Asylum Clinic was a woman from Cote d'Ivoire who had been here since about 1996. It took about 13 years for her to actually come to the clinic and for us to start being able to help her and develop her claim. And it was just a really fantastic uh, experience to get that phone call from um, my client saying, I received notice that I got asylum and I was just so thrilled for her. I think one of the most difficult things I've done at BU is participate in the moot court programs. Um, I pushed myself to, in, to sign up for the 2L moot court in the fall thinking that you know, public speaking was something that I really struggled with but that I knew I needed to get better at in order to become a competent lawyer and to become someone who can stand up in court and defend clients. And through that experience and then through the honors moot court program um, in the spring of my 2L year, I really learned that not only is it something that I enjoy, um, it's also something that I'm good at. And so that was both rewarding um, personally as well as useful professionally. I definitely plan to put my law degree to use um, helping marginalized populations in my community. After I graduate, I'll be clerking next year on the Federal District Court in New Hampshire. And the following year, I'll be clerking on the Sixth Circuit in Nashville, Tennessee. And I think that these experiences are going to give me the foundation that I need to go forward and work um, in a job in the public interest. My advice to incoming law students is to remember during your first year that there is a practical application to all of the things that you're studying. And whether you do that by volunteering at a soup kitchen or taking on some sort of pro bono work um, in the community, it's so important to keep a foot in, in the real world and remember that you're in law school for a reason and that the, the knowledge and the skills that you're learning right now are going to give you the ability to really make a difference.